We now go to the gentleman from Florida, Mr. DeSantis, for five minutes. Commissioner, have you reviewed Dave Camp's letter from June 3rd, 2011 that he sent to the IRS? Uh, I have not reviewed it. I only saw it this afternoon briefly. Well, well this is one of the, so he writes a letter, Lois Lerner's uh, hard drive crashes 10 days later. You're supposedly now in charge of writing the IRS, and you haven't looked at that letter? You haven't reviewed that letter? I, I scanned that letter. I'm not doing the investigation of what happened around. Uh, well, that letter requested that email records be preserved and, and turned over to the committee, the Ways and Means Committee. And according to your testimony, when her hard drive crashed, they never went to the backup servers to retrieve her email. No, no, they never went to uh, the backup tapes. Exactly. Uh, the backup so, server is very different. There is no backup server. There's a server that operates the emails. Right, and then the tapes that they're stored on off-site they never got the emails back. So even though the C Congress requested it, the IRS didn't care. They just decided they're not going to go the extra mile to get those. Now, you testified last week in the Ways and Means Committee that you knew there was a problem February 2014 with Lowers, Lois Lerner's emails, correct? I was advised there was an issue. Right. And in mid-March, the IRS, according to your testimony, review team learned additional facts about her mysterious computer crash, correct? That's correct. And then you testified in this committee at the end of March, and you promised this committee, they played the montage, Gowdy, Chaffetz, Jordan, Isa, everyone, get us Lois Learner's emails, get us Lois Learner's emails, and you said, yes, we'll do it. You never mentioned, you never disclosed that there were real problems about whether you were, in fact, going to be able to turn over those emails, correct? At, at that time, I did not know they were real problems. Well, here's what, you wrote, here's what you told Dave Camp. You said in February, this is page six of your testimony last week. In February, what we knew was there was a problem because we were looking at it from the standpoint of where, what time frame was in which her emails appeared. And it appeared that there were not enough emails in that time frame. So in mid-February, you had reason to believe that you were short of emails in that critical time frame. Per your testimony last week, correct. When I say we, the review team did that, I knew simply that there was a problem in the way the emails were spread throughout the time frame. I did not know the details well, of it. That your testimony said we, meaning the IRS. So I guess IRS, now you're saying correct. that you did not know that, that you were somehow, even though the commissioner, no, you're I, not in the loop. Now, here's the issue. Good. Jason Chaffetz was going back and forth with you at the March hearing, and you basically told him, we will get learners' emails stored in servers, is what you said. Now, my question for you is, why say that if you knew, one, there were a problem with learners' emails, and two, you knew that the backup tapes were only uh, saved for six months? Why tell Chaffetz that you were going to be able to retrieve it when you had reason to believe that that may not be the case? Because at that time, we were st had pulled all of the emails out of her hard drives and others and had put them into a server system known as Clearwell, was my understanding, which is the way we search them. Uh, they have to be searched. It's a pool. You have to then pull out. It's got uh, No, I understand video. that. But, but, again, your testimony, there was reason in mid-February that there were not enough emails. So whatever pool you had, then the there time a, period in a, question with the computer crash, you testified that, that there was a possibility that this was coming up short. So the question is, is you made a choice as you testified not to disclose this fact to Congress. Now, you've been asked, when did you know for sure there were emails missing? You said April. When in April? Right. said April. You wouldn't get any more definitive from that. And then you said you were advised not to disclose it. Who advised you not no, to disclose it? Nobody. I did not it? say I was advised not to disclose it. And why didn't you disclose uh, it? Because my sense was what we needed to do was find out the facts and the details, and when we found those, we would give you all of the information. My experience, as I explained to Congressman Camp, is last Monday we did provide information that we had just learned that day, our staff did, that we had custodians who had lost had, I had hard drive that, crashes. But, but you've and immediately thereafter, people leaped to conclusions in the public with press releases, which three days later turned out to be wrong. So my I, I is, think that you have a duty of candor to Congress and the American people. And you certainly had some reason to believe that there were going to be issues with producing your emails on, in your March testimony, because you've admitted it with ways and means that there were issues. Now, we've, we've maybe, been you weren't, maybe you weren't uh, kept up or maybe you weren't following closely enough. Uh, I don't know. But I think this is very important, because the average taxpayer looks at this and if they're ever in a situation where they can't produce documents, they are presumed guilty, period, end of story. It's not even a question. And yet the IRS is in a situation where they can say, well, we had a computer crash. The probability of that is very small, as Mr. Massey indicated. 
just so happened to have to 10 day, happen 10 days after Dave Camp asked for information. And so I don't think that the American people are satisfied with this. And with all due respect, I don't think your testimony is going to be satisfactory to those who have real concerns about whether we're going to get to the bottom of what happened with the IRS. And I yield back. Can I make just